G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring. If you're just joining us, we're on the second part of our Kennedy Ranges full drive trip. So Kennedy Ranges is about 10 hours north of Perth and it's this absolutely epic mountain range that runs through the Gascoigne region. We're pretty much a third of the way into a 170k full drive loop. We're just starting to gain a little bit of elevation and we should be getting into some absolutely breathtaking views shortly. This is what you've got to look forward to this episode. Can't wait. so windy this morning. I had to get up at about four o'clock in the morning and put the awning away. I didn't have any guy ropes, never pegged out or anything. And it was, um, it was like the wind was lifting my swag up. So there was some crazy gusts. No damage to the awning at all. And I probably could have left it, um, but I, it really needed legs and guy ropes down. I just didn't want to do it. So I put it away. Didn't really need it last night anyway. But um, swag's full of dust because all the dust just picked up off this sand and blown straight into my swag. The campsite looks like a war zone, so we're gonna have to walk around and make sure we've found every bit of rubbish and crap that's blown away before we go. And yeah, I've got a coffee on the go. I don't know, Stokes, he's been doing breakfast for us in the morning. I don't know if he's gonna be able to today because there's just too much wind to cook. Maybe on the induction, he might be able to use that. It was a bit of a rough sleep, to be honest with you. But still, I'd rather be here than anywhere else at the moment. So we'll sort ourselves out. I'm going to do a pack up now, and then I'll help with brekkie and stuff and clean up. We need to do a clean up. And then uh, we might as well be driving. I'm not going to notice how bloody windy it is in the car. Coffee first. Okay. Let me sort that out. That's <laughs> a pain in the There is a couple of points of interest along this track. Most of them revolve around sort of natural springs, soaks, uh, wells, all that kind of stuff. There's obviously a lot of underground water here. And it's funny, as you're driving through, you can pick them from a mile away because you've got all this kind of sparse, um, sticky, scrubby vegetation. And then out of nowhere, you'll see big, bushy, massive eucalyptus trees that are really green and vibrant. And um, <clears throat> you just know that there's some kind of water source there to keep them looking that good. Anyway, this one's called Farrow Well. I don't think there's much here, but we'll have a quick look. It's history, it's interesting. Farrow's Well's not doing too well, eh? Nah, it's those last legs, I think. Yeah. I think that used to be a wind thing, but it's, I don't think that's going to worry, you know? No. Funny how there's obviously, um, it's obviously a spring or something here before, though, because all the water's come up without a pump. Oh, there's the windmill. Yeah. Oh, well, see what's next, eh? Yeah. You enjoying it? Yeah, it's beautiful, man. It's not as, um, it's easier going than I thought, but it's an yeah. enjoyable drive, eh? Ah, uh, you know what, it's very rocky. It's like, not much animal, mm. animals out here, but you know what, it's a nice drive. It's yeah. Beautiful. Hopefully you can see here, so we'll just have a quick look at Farrow's uh, well there. 
and this along here is a range. Thanks, brother. Got to get out before this caravan's in front of me. This is the only dude we've seen on the track. He camped near us last night as well. He said g'day. Just him and his missus dragging a van through, which is pretty cool. Little AOR. Thank you. Yeah, anyway, so that was Farrow Well. Here, these are points of interest here. That's all the um, like Temple Gorge campground, trailhead walk. It's all the stuff that you'd see if you took like the two wheel drive access road on the other side of the range into, into the Kennedy Range, um, like deep or campground. That's where I've stayed before where there's, you know, some epic views and some epic walks and that. So we're starting to head across the range towards there. So this is where we're gonna start to get to the edge of the range. And we're gonna start to see those big dramatic drop-offs and um, cliff faces and yeah. Like, I remember, I'm excited about it because I remember how beautiful it was last time I was here on the other side. And it's gonna be, it will be epic being on top of that. It'll be really, really, really cool. So we're starting to get into that good stuff now. It's getting pretty fun now. Washouts are getting bigger and deeper. It's turning into a proper full drive track and we're probably just over halfway through. So the first half was very cruisy. But yeah, it's getting fun now. Jimny looks right at home, doesn't it? That old boy. Hey? That old boy's got his I know. Yeah, I don't know how he's gonna get his van through. Getting good now, eh? Yeah, it's good, eh? deviating slightly off the track now um, because wiki camps has a point of interest marked as great gorge and I've, i have noticed that the terrains really change from the big sort of rolling um sand dunes that were covered in uh spin effects and that kind of stuff into like rocky terrain again and um i can see that there is a great gorge here so we'll have a look i don't know if i can walk down to it but we'll suss that out there's a bit of a goat track down here. It's obviously not visited too often, which makes it kind of more special, eh? Check this out. Great Gorge, and I reckon it lives up to its name. It's pretty great. We're real close to camp. I reckon 5K, something like that. We're gonna hit the edge of the range. We're kind of um, on top of the range at the moment. We're gonna hit the edge and then we're gonna start driving along the cliff's edge and just look for a camp. So shouldn't be long. It's actually only um, about one o'clock anyway. So it's still pretty early in the day. So we've got plenty of time to find a really good spot set up. Uh, probably won't put too much gear out tonight because we're going to be pretty exposed and I imagine it's going to be, you know, it could be pretty windy, but we'll see how we go.
What an epic spot. We got some wicked views. Fellas are just figuring out which way to set up to protect us from the wind because we're quite exposed here. But there's the fire pit there. Is that the fire pit we're using then? Yeah. Hot? Hot breakfast. Leftovers. <laughs> nice. Cool. And this will be us, the Savo. That's going to be a wicked view of the sunset. Isn't it, mate? All right, give me a tip, mate. Whatever you do, don't look like so Camp last night, I got smashed with dust in the morning, so I'm just dusting everything out. Yeah. And um, I thought I'd show you this. It's a, um, they're sheet keepers, and I forget where they're from, but I'll, I'll put a little thing on the screen below. Tiff bought them, like, it's Kmart or something, they're only cheap, maybe Spotlight. But yeah, I'm using sheet keepers to keep the sheet tight on the swag, so I've got two going sideways and two going lengthways. They're adjustable, and it looks a little funny now, but once it's flattened out in the base of the swag, it just keeps that sheet nice and taut so it doesn't move around at all. A bit of luxury, because I toss and turn heaps in bed while I'm sleeping. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I toss and turn heaps when I'm sleeping. I would sure, always, sure mine come. I'd always wake up with the sheets pulled off. Compared to yours. Yeah, see, that's that's sort of what happens. And then, oh, you, it is quite dusty in there. Is it? Yeah. And then I roll around, it totally comes off. Yeah, oh, good idea. Yeah. I'm gonna get some. Yeah, yeah, no, they work good. Right, a couple of things to set up, and then I'm gonna chill in the shade for a while, have a couple of beers, but really we're just waiting for that gold now. It's gonna be um it's gonna be magic here. We're gonna walk out over the um little uh rock bridge out there, and you get a view back to camp, a view over this escarpment. It's it's pretty special. But yeah, just need a need the heat taken off this day, it's pretty warm. What did you think of the day anyway in the track, Gaz? That was great. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. Recommend it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty bit of a spin out, the dude with the van, hey? Oh, yeah, he won't go. Well, I hope he does, but uh, he'll need a chainsaw. <laughs> Just uh, some of those uh, bends are quite tight. So. Yeah, where the water had washed out tracks, yeah. they'd recut um, new tracks, yeah, and some yeah. of them were really tight bends yeah. between trees and stuff. Yeah, to get you back on the track, yeah. You'd get a small like, little box trailer type Maybe, camp yeah, up. yeah, yeah, you would, yeah, yeah. But he had, what, 16 foot, I would say? Yeah, had a good departure angle, but it's yeah. just too long. One of those um, Australian off-roads. Yeah, nice looking van. Yeah, expensive, but yeah. Yeah. A few mm. scratches on the way home, I think. But yeah, the, the first half, real easy going. Yeah, second yeah. half, a bit more interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, and that was good though, because it was a bit more, as you say, more interesting. So yeah, yeah, it made the uh, trip a bit more, yeah, sketchy. Yeah, <laughs> all worth it for this camp, though, eh? Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, once in a lifetime. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, That's what yeah. Stokes was saying. He was saying, "There's millionaires with houses, you know, mansions yeah, yeah, that don't yeah. have views like yeah. this." No, it's spectacular. Yeah, it looks like the African savanna. Yeah. Just missing a lion. Yeah. <laughs> Got a couple of bears. <laughs> Well, we can get away from Duffy for two seconds. <laughs> we've been, this whole oh. trip, we've been telling, or oh, well, saying in front of Tony so he can overhear, that there's, there's a real snake problem up here. So Gaz has got a bit of a treat for him tonight. We, got to, we have to do it tonight, don't yeah, we? Definitely. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you get it out, give us a look? Okay. Oh. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you wanna see my It's not every day I ask you to get your snake out. <laughs> I just had to pick a moment, and this is a good moment. Come on, we'll do a demo around here quickly. Just in case it doesn't go to plan when we really do it. So we've been telling him that the snakes up here, the brown snake and the tiger snake will chase people. <laughs> he believes it. He does. I think you can see where we're going. Hold on, do you want me to tie it to my, uh, just like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we've got to do is we've got to sneak up on him, attach the clip to his clothing somewhere. <laughs> this is very childish. <laughs> <laughs> and then say, oh, there's a snake. And when he runs, it follows him. <laughs> so we'll see if we can pull it off. <laughs> Love it. Well done, guys. Perfect. It's a funny well, consistency. That actually, one, actually, I would taste that on the sauce. Yeah. Please. That'll be. That's Cheers. Cool. What's that like on the towel? 
Oh, it's really good, man. Is it? That's a yeah. Try it. Yeah. Oh, where's me? I'll just get it. Just try it. Where's yours? Oh, uh, yours on the edge there. Yeah. Stokes, you have one. Oh, it's a it's flying. Yeah. What am I getting the blame for the fly in it? Because you should have done something. Come on, in, mate. There's a, there's a shot down there. Just, just sweep that and I'll pull some more. Yeah, Dad, that's yours. Let's see, Sam. Whoa! Oh, snake! <laughs> snake! I thought I had a fly on me. Ah, <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had something on me. Yeah. Uh, you Did you see what was supposed to happen? <laughs> yes. He stepped on it. He stepped on it. Go on, do a little run for us. Yeah, we, we wanted to. Go on. Run. Run. Ah! 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 <laughs> He's chasing you. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. Oh, I nearly worked. I nearly worked. Next mate. time. Righto, cocktails. We've got a bit of a plan. We're going to walk out over that. Um, I think they call it narrow neck, don't they? Narrow neck, yeah. Yeah, we're going to walk out there. We're going to do sunset with a couple of cocktails. I'm going to take the um, the Ikega because it's insulated. It'll stay cooler for longer. So I'm doing a Alabama Slammer. Really? Yeah. So we got some slow gin. I don't actually know what that is. I think it's made with slow berries. It's just a gin that goes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened to the fast berries. <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, can you just save a little bit at the end there? Taste it. Yeah. So you got one part gin, one part Southern Comfort. Come pour it in, all in. Oh yeah, yeah. And then one part amaretto. Oh, and two parts orange juice. And that's an Alabama Slammer, Ooh. apparently. Oh, quite nice. You need to pour the rest in, Doug. Oh, that is quite nice. It's a nice amaretto. That's a fancy Italian. Well, that tastes like marzipan. Is it a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it marzipan? Yeah. Like yeah. marzipan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like almonds, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's marzipan. Want to try? It's marzipan almonds? Yeah. yeah. It's made from almonds. Oh, yeah, that's Derived good. from almonds. Oh, it should be good. All, all the stuff going in there is pretty tasty. Yeah, there's a bit of grog in it. Yeah. Can you see what's going in there? Cool. What are those? Hmm. You got a cup you want to try? Grab, you want to grab your chairs and we'll grab a table and that and we'll head over there. Hey. Let's, bring this Let's do it. I can honestly say, I reckon that's the coolest place we've ever had Arvo drinks, mate. Oh yeah, that was yeah. the best. It was wicked, wasn't it? Now we're gonna have a good feed. We're gonna have so, a nice chili. What are you doing? Chili. Well, my lovely wife, Sarah, has done a chili for us. She's a good egg. And um, hopefully it's not too hot for you guys, because there's a couple of bird eye chilies in there. Oh, he's good. It, did you call her lovely because you're on camera? Yes. Because... No, because she is lovely. Oh, I gotta put the rice in, and once it, I'll get it a bit going, and we get the rice in there, eh? You, weren't, you weren't messing around cooking for six people. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I know you're growing boys and you yeah. need your sustenance, so. Um, no, nah, it'll be nice, mate. It's gonna be good. I might get the fire lit for us, eh? I reckon you should. All right, I'll go do that. I'll be over shortly. Okay, mate. Sing it out if you need a hand. Roger. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit good. of a glow, mm. not too bad. Yeah. What's left of the eggs from that show? 
Stacey's an early riser, so he's seen the sun come up this morning. Yeah. And he's been doing um, brekkie every morning for us. Yeah, Bit of black pudding, because I'm out with the poms. <laughs> lots of bacon, lots of eggs, lots of hash. We've had different sausages and Kranskis and salamis and all sorts. We haven't done without, have we? No. We haven't gone without, no. Not yet. Get something down us and then um, it'll be last day on the track. We've got a, I don't know, 20 k's or something to sort of get to the end of, end of the range and then we come back down the other side and then we come through the bottom of the range where because um, there are campsites down the bottom here, uh, national park campsites. So we'll come pass through them, end up around Gascoigne Junction, I think, where we'll get some fuel, either there or Carnarvon. We'll see how we're going for range, and we'll decide what we're doing next. We've got one more night we want to do. Um, Gary's going to cook us a roast tonight. Still got a couple of cocktails and stuff to do, and I've got a little bit of an idea of somewhere cool that I've always wanted to visit that, that might break up that trip home. So... See how we go. We'll get out of here first, air up, and um, see where we end up. Hey, I forgot to mention yesterday afternoon at camp, we just set up and we're sitting and chilling and waiting for the heat of the day to burn off. And uh, that couple with the 16 foot AOR caravan came through. So they managed to do all of that full drive track, even the tight sort of switchback turns and um, you know the rocky sections and all the rest of it. Got through unscathed and they saw us camped out where we were and they turned off the track to come in to tell us that they'd made it through just so that we knew, so we weren't worried about them, which was a, a good idea got through totally unscathed as they've turned down the track to come out to tell us which I didn't need to do he staked a tire <laughs> poor bugger so um offered to help him but he was adamant that he was had all the tools and he was fine to do it himself so um he changed his tire there at our camp and then they've moved on and camped somewhere else out on the cliffs there's heaps of campsites dotted along here and we've just driven past another one that was marked on the maps as white cliffs just another little lookout overlooking all those beautiful um, rock formations. Yeah, it's a stunning spot. I'm just going to check my maps. I reckon we're not too far from the end of this track, and then we'll be on the still be unsealed, but be a um, like a graded, maintained road, and we'll shoot out of here and get some fuel. Well, that's the turn off to Merlin Lay Station, which I'm pretty sure marks just about the end of this four-wheel drive track. After inflating the tyres and refueling the vehicles, we set about finding a camp to break up the 1,000 kilometre trip home. We decided to pull in for the night at an old abandoned station that was roughly halfway home. This might be us, we might be setting up under, underneath here. Fire there overlooking what's left of the river this time of the year. There's even like little shower cubicles there we'll take our showers into. That's living. Tony's just checking out the pub, we'll have a quick look at the pub as well. I wish we came here when it was open, man. I know, it looks cool. It's got all the communal showers for people just camping, I guess. Looks like it has air con as well. Yeah. It looks a pretty cool spot this day, but yeah. So yeah, it, it was a shearing shed repurposed, eh? Yeah. I this would be pretty cool. Awesome, man. Views over the river. We'll have a beer in here for old time's sake, eh? Yeah. 
Uh, we'll reopen the bar. Yeah, <laughs> let's find a spot to actually set up camp. What we've got to do... Oh, we better get the fire on. Yeah, the other boys are behind us. We've um, they got to stop for fuel again, because they don't have long-range tanks. And we've, um, we've gunned ahead. We took a bit of a shortcut, which was a bit dodgy. That's another story. <laughs> um, we but survived. yeah, we survived. Yeah. But yeah, we've gunned ahead to get the fire going because Gary's going to cook us a roast tonight. Yeah, in the past, it yeah. looks good. So we'll need some coals and that. So we'll get a fire going. Let's oh, find a spot quick. We've got a fire going to finish off Explorer, eh? Sounds good. Yep. Boys are arrived, perfect timing, Cole's are ready, and Gaz is not even setting up yet, and he's getting dinner Straight on. Straight on to it. What a bloke. What a man. What are you cooking? Um, we are cooking a pork shoulder roast bonus. Cool. Um, Cam's idea, so if it goes wrong, it's Cam's fault. Oh, I like how you, uh, yeah. it becomes my fault. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And uh, with that, we've got some veggies, we've got some potatoes, carrots, and pumpkin. Nice, man. But we're in a bit of a rush, aren't we? Yeah. Six o'clock. Yeah. Boys are hungry, long day driving, but we're gonna give it a go. Yeah, man. Cam's gonna help me, which is nice of him. And uh, we're gonna, Gaz wants to use the meter probe. Yeah. Which is, it makes it easy. We're just gonna, I mean, this is an easy dish and it's yeah, how that's really, so, yeah. it takes a while, but. Yeah. I think it takes a while, but it's, it's like, it's, it's doing it by itself. Yeah. So the boys, we can set up, get that on a fire, set up. Yeah. And then two hours later, hopefully it's ready. Yeah. So my idea is, Stick it in. Oh, look at that perfect can. Stick it in. Yeah. I don't know, oil, salt, pepper, and that I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it simple. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Like it. That's it. Oh, is that it? So it's it's wireless. It's, yeah, it stays it, in there. It's no wire to it. No, so now. Oh, what am I doing here? Who's yours? Um, sure. yeah. So, cook setup, tap to cook. So it's not, it's eight degrees inside, tap to cook. We're doing. Pork, shoulder. Now, do you want it? Um, how do you want your pork? It recommends 68 to 73, which is well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, go on. Yeah. So it gives you a recommendation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do that, yeah. All right, cool. All right, cool. Is that how it lifts it? Oh, no. All right, let's go and get this one. Oh, shovel. Do you have a shovel anywhere? He's got one out here, I think. Nah. I know you might not think you might not think that's enough, but I think it is probably. Yep. Two hours done. And so what you can tell that from okay. I can hear it sizzling already, I think. Sure I can. Probably just juices dripping off the bottom. Uh, proper Bailey's. Yeah. I've got uh, Cas uh, coffee tequila. Coffee, all right. And then I've got uh, two mocha milk. Cool. So we're going to do, uh, we'll call it uh, Mr. Bailey's salty caramel tequila mocha coffee. How'd you come up with a name? Uh, just, <laughs> just random, really. <laughs> <laughs> right, so how many uh, come in, knuckle? You're supposed to be giving me hand. Yeah. <laughs> Worst assistant ever. <laughs> He's tired, isn't he? Yeah. He's tired. Nice top, well, man. Them, I like that brewery. Yeah. Right, Thanks, so uh, how much do you reckon? Good amount. Well, uh, give, uh, give us a um, somebody's glass and then we can. Hey, let's Here's do that. it in here. Yeah. So we'll do uh, two of these. There's been enough in that. Two of these. That's a baby chair. It's the only thing that's compact and lightweight. That's two of each? <laughs> or shall I go three? Go on, do another one. Bailey's is nice. So three Bailey's, yeah. two tequila, and go uh, 
I'll just go shy of about. If you need this one, I've got another one on my car anyway. The same one? No, no. no. Nice. I, I just yeah, put it uh, Yeah, put it. Yeah, because they're too big. Really. So if you need this, put you can use slap it. Slap it. Some of them in there. I'll put the lid on, we'll give it a shake and then you can have the first one back. You ready? This is shot. No, it's going to do, we're going to do a big cup then. Let's have a big cup. Whoa! She's warm now. Yeah, that's what you want the gas in. Oh, Christ! Jesus Christ on a popsicle stick, have a taste of it. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, right, so let's keep going then. Coffee seems so pretty happy with it. Oh, was it good? Was it that? Yeah, that's nice, man. Oh, that's cool. It's a bit effervescent, though. Right. Beautiful. Thanks, brother. Oh, okay. I feel like I need some, like, grated chocolate on top of something. Do you know what I did have and I forgot? I had umbrellas. Sprinkles? Oh. Yeah, it's beautiful, mate. It's nice. Yeah, it is good. You did well. Woo! Thanks, Dad. Thanks, brother. All right, Tom. Doing good now, mate. Hold well that. Did you ask the boss if you could take some coals? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it took a bit longer than expected. Gaz, <laughs> by how many hours? Yeah, a few. Gaz, Gaz was expecting like maybe two hours, and it took long, more like maybe three and a half. Yeah. But it's funny, you'd never know if you didn't have the the probe like we had in there. Yeah. It's at one hundred and ten degrees, you know, for the first hour, and it's two hundred and twenty for the next hour. So it's all over the place. But I guess it averages out all right because it came out good, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good now. Yeah. Come on, guys, let's go. We've been waiting three Someone hours. Someone else going on. Oh, gravy. Are you doing the gravy or is this yeah, just like a meat fest? The fire. Yeah, right. do you want the veggies? Yeah. Have a, give me a little one, go on. Be a devil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Gas. Nice. Yeah, it's delicious, Gas. Well done, mate. Right, right that, I think that's pretty much it. Um, what do we do? Four nights? Four nights, Four five nights, days. Five days. Four yeah. nights. Kennedy Rangers was a wicked trip. I, oh, I loved it. Two nights. Yeah. Just sitting on that on that spare, it was unbelievable. Wasn't the neck. It? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The end of the neck. That the the last um, last of the sunlight in the afternoon, having a drink awesome. with that view was just killer. Yeah. Blue moon. Blue moon. Yeah. I don't sort of know what that is, but no, we don't know. Whatever. It, is. <laughs> it wasn't quite blue, but yeah, uh, it was bright. Yeah, a uh, bright moon. Um, best cocktail. Now that we've had the last one, this is really good by the way. It is. I hate ah. to say it, but I like Duffy's. Which one? The With the strawberry yeah. tequila. And uh, the tequila. That was yeah. really that nice. That was nice. Stokes's was nice. Milky, yeah. chocolatey. Yeah. yeah. It was like a milkshake. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a hard one, isn't it? It we is hard one. I, like, I like your shot, that, that same one, the tequila yeah. one. Yes. And I liked your one, yeah. which we didn't film. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gazza, Gazza did a... Um, pineapple slushy. Yeah. Oh, I like that, yeah. And I'll, I'll make yeah. that. I'm going to pinch his idea and I'll make that on a trip one time. Yeah. Because yeah. it was really Strong. Yeah, that was good as well, though, in all fairness. See, we're all good in yeah. their own way. Right. Yeah, in their own way. Yeah. yeah, I think so, yeah. There's not one you can pick. And best meal? I actually enjoyed Gubby's chilli. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Gubby's chilli. I enjoyed your satay. Well. Again, I think yeah. once again, I think they're all good. Molly's breakfasts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, again, yeah, they've all been good. On you won the breakfast prize because the other one cooked it. Yeah, <laughs> you've cooked <laughs> every day, mate. So you've done well. So yeah, yeah you won the breakfast. We, yeah. Some in there, yeah. we yeah. ate, we ate and drank really well. And yeah, as usual, yeah. we're taking home heaps of grog and heaps of food. Yes. Too much. Mm. Yeah. We're not gonna. We we never yeah. starve on these trips, do we? Yeah, that no, was good. Yeah. All of it. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for a great trip, boys. Yeah, cheers, yeah, really cheers. enjoyable. Cheers, cheers. 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 cheers, boys. Cheers, guys. We'll cheers. see you in the next one. Cheers. Yes, didn't smash it. <laughs> Getting good now, eh? Yeah, it's good, eh? Light camera.
Yeah, yeah. You look good on camera, man. Breathing in right now. <laughs> is that <laughs> is that sucking it in? Yeah, sucking it in. <laughs> <laughs> you want a dumb group to keep the heat off? Oh, you're you right, guys. Right, guys? Cheers guys, we'll Cheers. see you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks boys, love you work.